frenzied families in film. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. This family, I'm just going to call it the fucking family. That's what I refer to it as. They just put you through torture and hell of epic proportions. What a frenzied family. Poltergeist, 1982. Uh, the Freelings here, they're so frenzied when they lose their daughter and they don't know where she is. They're just frenzied out, especially when the poltergeist activity starts to ramp up or even starts to happen. The father here, Craig T. Nelson, so frenzied and the whole family is... The Godfather, 1972. It's the Corleones, no doubt about it. The whole family here is a frenzied family. They'll do anything to protect their family out of love. That's what they think it is. The higher power. Oh shit, is them, the Corleones. The Devil's Rejects, 2005. I'm calling these people a family, no doubt about it. They act like it, they die like it, they kill like it. They go on a killing spree of just the, the massive bloodthirst here. Uh, it's a friendly, frenzied family, no doubt about it. The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2, 2012. I'm going with the Cullens at the end here of Breaking Dawn Part 2. They just go frenzied out. Uh, they go after the Vultury here. Uh, heads off, fucking claws out, all shits. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, 2001. The Dursleys here, they want to get rid of Harry Potter so bad, they're in a frenzy to get rid of him. They're a frenzied family when shit starts happening, Harry starts figuring out his powers, or they want him. They want to take him out of this family. Man, they get frenzied. Frailty, 2001. The Meeks family here, they're a frenzied family. I mean, I never seen no shit like this. Bill Paxton here trying to run his family. Oh, man. Wow. It's just a, a really frenzied time when you spend it with them. Frenzied families in film.